welcome back to the dojo. We are on episode three. This is going to correspond with lesson three in the written guide linked down in the description. We're going to be talking about neutral game. We're going to be going over how you want to position yourself and move in real matches and what options you want to use to close out games. Run through the setup here. We're going to put the bot center stage. We are ultimately going to use Taros and you can change what legend the bot is so we're going to do that here. Then we are going to set the damage to 200. We're going to put damage in position reset on. We're going to change AI setting to jump and we're going to warm up with our combos dash into combos. You should be able to hit all these on demand every time. A good way to warm up can be to do five reps of each combo from each side, five on the right and then five on the left. So the reason we're learning all the things we are in the order that we are is so we can start to consider how we'll play against real opponents. So now, for example, if you have someone who's trying to jump just when you're at this distance, you could try and wait for them to land with your combo. Legendary. You learned how to dash in and hit the, hit the side Come airs. On. You can dash in with the neutral air. You can even catch them as they land with the down air. You have all kinds of options here. And this is just the basic beginner level stuff. So we want to think about we want to think about the game in maybe a different way than how you are now. You want to be at this range, that that dash in range. When you are here, you can pressure the opponent with attacks, and you can also respond to what they're doing. If you're right up on top of them and they just throw out a move, there's no way you're going to be able to react. But when you're here, you can play reactively. So we're going to look at a couple of different situations and how you can comfortably combo out of things like backdash and spot dodge. So now we are going to go back into the settings. We're going to change jump to stand. We're going to set the damage to 50. And for attack reaction, we are in the wrong menu. For attack reaction, we are going to change that to S heavy for side heavy. And we are going to give weapon axe to Taros. So now when we attack him, he will input the side heavy immediately. And what we are going to do is find about this spacing. We're going to neutral light, backdash, and then combo. And all that we're doing here is building the muscle memory to be able to consistently land combos out of our back dashes. And once you do a bunch of damage to Taros, he will lose his axe, so you'll occasionally have to give him another one. Practice both of your sword combos and make sure you can do that. So once you are comfortable with the sword, move on to hammer. You're gonna use side light here. You'll notice right away if you do side light back dash, you stay in Taros' range. So you could side light back dash and then try and manually move around, but that's a little bit more difficult. So instead what we're going to do is side light and jump. And we just want to practice being comfortable landing our combos out of a jump. We're able to practice this way with hammer and of course with sword we can practice our back dashes like this we want to get comfortable with both of those so we are able to approach aggressively and we're also able to respond defensively and still find combos and maximize our damage output so when you're looking for knockouts in real games one of the worst habits you could have is just spamming signatures trying to find the KO. Use your neutral kit that we're working on to find the KOs with light attacks. 
You can approach from the ground, you can approach from the air. You have a lot of different options. And if you're using light attacks all game, sometimes when you're in that really long space anywhere, you know, we can't find our combo from here, and they think they're safe because we haven't sig, we can dash forward into a signature. That'll catch people off guard, and you'll be able to get KOs that way if you're conservative with when you use these moves. And alternatively, at the beginning of the game, we want to use our moves that are going to let us rack up more damage. That's where things like neutral light on the sword becomes a lot better. So it's important to use all the parts of your kit at all points in the game to maximize your potential damage output. You can use something like side light or hammer and follow it up into your combo. There are even certain combos that only work at low damage ranges, which is something we'll get into later on in this guide, but I do want you to be aware of that and just think about how you're using your moves and how you're trying to finish stocks against real opponents. What are they expecting you to do? What's gonna get you punished? What's working, what isn't working? You're not gonna be able to play against every opponent in the same way. You're gonna have to adapt to what each person is doing. And you're also gonna wanna start to consider what weapon the opponent has, because that's gonna, of course, affect what spaces they can attack and you want to think about, is there a range where I'm safe to strike the opponent where they can't possibly hit me with an attack? You want to work your way into those spaces while also trying to find openings for your combo starters and ways to rack up damage like we're seeing here.